Hey yo, let's get everybody. It's your boy Matthew Maley for MatthewMaley.com. Well, I am back out here at the World Series and uh, wanted to do kind of another blog entry. Um, was out here watching event number 23, which is the $2,500 um, seven card stud uh, final table. And part of the reason, I, I mean, I'm not very good at stud as I mentioned before. So I like, you know, trying to watch it as much as I can. Plus, most of the stud final tables are always really pro-packed. I apologize if this is a little windy and you can't hear me. It's that windy out here, as I'm sure you can tell by my hair blowing around. But, um, so it was crazy packed. I'll go over exactly who was at the final table and kind of some of the action of it. But I also wanted to give a quick shout out um, to a guy that I played with um, before. I forgot to mention it when I was up here and did the, the video for event number 18 and 19, um, but Everett Carlton ended up taking third place in the $1,500 uh, No Limit Hold'em event number 17, actually finished one place ahead of Joe Cata. Um, Everett Carlton, the name might not sound that familiar, but he is the individual that um, ended up winning event number, uh, the I don't remember the exact event, but the circuit event that I took third place in. Um, we actually, he was down to, I want to say like three big blinds and was able to make a comeback and came back and actually won it. Um, he's a very solid player. If you go and look at him on uh, online, I mean, he's had tons of caches all through the Midwest. I think he's a middle, originally from like Minnesota or something, but um, very good player. Was actually a professional or it was I think he was almost professional with golf, um, but he ended up needing, he had to get out of the sun because he had um, carcinoma or melanoma, one or the other. But regardless, want to give him a big shout out. He's a very good player and um, cashed for a quarter of a million, so pretty solid. Um, but let's get back to what I was really up here to watch, um, and that was the final table, like I said, of event number 23. Um, just to go over some of the names that were at the final table, um, the guy who ended up winning it was David Chui. Um, or Chewy, Chewy, Chi, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Um, but also the table, Scott Seaver, um, Michael Mizrachi, that's who I was really there to watch. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the grinder. Talked to him multiple times, just a really cool dude. Um, Frank Casella, who, as you guys know from a couple years ago, had an incredible run. Um, and another guy, Freddie Ellis, I don't know if you, I know I've heard of him, I know I'd seen him before. Um, <clears throat> but, there, you know, seven card stud isn't gonna get that many people. There were only 246 players. Um, but at the end of the day, it was some really solid action. And just to see, I mean, Mizrachi is a great player across all games. Cassell is a really solid player. I think Scott Seaver gets a lot of flack for kind of his silly, you know, actions at the table but I think he's actually a really good player so it was it was a, a really solid um, final table and when all was said and done I cannot remember if it's Chi or Chui but I know you guys have seen him he's a really like well-known um, player especially for stud games or for, for Raz for stud stud eight or better and I think Omaha um, he's a better player than just straight up hold him um, but then I guess Ski Seaver got second place um, and they went back and forth a few times. Um, it, it wasn't like one was just dominating the whole time and just killed it. So it was a, it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, I only saw it from when it was six-handed um, on down, but it was still a lot of fun. So overall, another great day at the series. Even if I'm not playing, I'm still loving being here and just being around everybody, talking with pros, talking with fans. Had this awesome conversation with this random guy today. We talked for like an hour and a half 